This video is sponsored by ASUS. What's up friends, Mike again, glad to have you guys back. Today I'm super excited to tell you guys that I partnered up with ASUS to share with you guys one of my favorite pieces of tech on my desk, which is their brand new portable monitor, the Zenscreen MB16QHG. I have no idea what those letters mean, except for that the screen is 16 inches, but this is my favorite thing that I've been using for the past month. And as you know, I'm super into desk accessories and tools that just help you work better, faster, smarter, and just things that make your everyday life simpler and easier. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use this as a content creator, all the features that I love, and how using something like this enabled me to work from anywhere I like without compromising my productivity. So the first cool thing about this portable monitor here is that it actually has a built-in L-shaped stand that you can adjust the viewing angle to whatever that's most comfortable for yourself. So that makes setting this up very easy. The other thing is that it has USB Type-C ports on both sides so that you can plug in the cable from either side to get a very clean look on that cable management. It makes it easy for you to place the screen on either side of your laptop. And notice these ultra thin bezels over here and the ultra thin profile of the screen. It is super thin. So if you wanna extend your screen and move things to the other side, it's very seamless like this over here. And it's very hard to control the mouse with the screen flipped, but you get the idea. It's like one long extended screen. Anyways, the monitor comes with a carrying case and the monitor itself is super lightweight at 1.2 kilograms and all of this makes it super easy to carry out with you wherever you go to work. And this is great because lately I've been super distracted while I was trying to work at home. There's just too many things to clean, things to take care of. So when I don't want to be distracted, I'm always going out to coffee shops or the library to get work done. But you know, when you're at coffee shops, you got those like really small tables. You can't really have your laptop and your screens beside you. And that's where the other really useful feature of this monitor shines. It has a quarter inch thread built right into the stand. So when I'm at the coffee shop and sitting at those little tables, I usually have this monitor mounted on my little tripod so that the monitor is on top and I got my laptop on the bottom. This is actually a more ergonomic setup for me so that when I'm looking at the screen, I'm sitting properly and not hunched over looking at my laptop. Also, it's just a more natural screen arrangement to have the screen extend upwards rather than sideways. If you haven't noticed yet, the monitor is actually powered directly from the laptop through the USB Type-C. So setting up the screen with my laptop is usually super quick and easy. I can get it done in less than 30 seconds. So having a second monitor to use is definitely super useful for everything I do. I use it as a reference monitor and I'm just not compromising on using a small laptop when I'm going out and working at different places. So when I was working outside with my friend Daniel, he was amazed with the dual screen setup as well. It was nice that the monitor was bright enough to see outdoors and that the setup was compact enough so that it doesn't look too excessive when I have it set up in public. And the other thing is that I actually brought the monitor with me to my recent trip in Japan. And boy, was I ever glad that I did because my laptop screen actually got crushed in my suitcase. So the laptop screen was totally unusable. The screen was cracked and it just turned black when I turned it on. But luckily when I plugged this in, it actually worked and I could still use it to answer emails and go through a few pictures like that. And again, when you're traveling, you don't get to pick where you get to work. So I was working off of this really small table that was really cluttered and still the setup worked with my tripod. So when I'm traveling and working in the future, I'm definitely bringing this portable monitor with me as well. It's just so useful. Moving along, let's talk about the display itself and what it's like when I'm using it for work. So here's a setup side by side. I usually have the monitor on top, but to make things simpler to film, I have it side by side. So over here, I have my MacBook Pro. This is the 14 inch version. And when you put this portable monitor side by side, the portable monitor is a bit bigger. The specs on this display is quite impressive and useful for a content creator like me. The resolution is 2560 by 1600 pixels with an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. And it also has a color coverage of 100% of DCI-P3. And finally, it has a 120 hertz refresh rate. And what that means for me as a creator is that the images that I edit are gonna be sharp, the colors are gonna be accurate, and with the 120 hertz refresh rate, you can use it for gaming, and everything just looks super smooth on this. So over here, I got my Lightroom Classic open. Right now, the resolution is 1280 by 800. So at this resolution, everything is scaled to be a bit bigger because at this age, you know, I just can't really see that well anymore. But if you want more screen real estate, you can set it to the 2560 by 1600, and things are a lot smaller 
smaller, but you can have a lot more on your screen. So with Photoshop at full size, this is what it looks like. And back to 1280, you can just see that the user interface is a lot bigger. And let's do the same thing with Final Cut Pro if we move that over here. So right now it's at 1280. And just look at the size of this color wheel versus the other size. This is a lot more manageable and I can just see a lot more. So sometimes when I'm using Final Cut Pro, I do like using the bigger resolution because the UI is just a lot smaller so that I can actually move around my timeline and see the screen a bit more. So in either resolution, everything is really sharp. It's just the user interface that kind of changes. So I love being able to choose between the two for different things that I do. And when I'm editing photos on this display, the colors are pretty accurate because whether I look at it from the portable display or my MacBook Pro display, they both look pretty similar and having accurate color on a display is super important because you don't want what you edit on your screen to look very different from what you actually post online so when I'm editing videos this is usually the screen combo I would have opened I would have my script or notion opened up on one screen and then Final Cut Pro open on the other this just makes it so much easier to write out what I'm gonna say in the b-rolls to do my voiceovers and it really helps you organize the storyline as well so I could not do both of these on one screen that is just too cramped and the other thing I want to mention are these joysticks on the back it's on both sides this allows you to go into the menu settings and there's a lot of color modes that you can choose from I usually just use sRGB you can also use the blue light filter this is better for your eyes if you're working at night and the other feature that you won't really notice but is super important is that it's flicker free so if you're working for long hours the flicker free feature is really gonna reduce eye fatigue and that's super important to me because I do work long hours staring at a screen and I don't want my eyes to get any worse than they are right now like I'm 30 three this year and I still don't have glasses so I would like to keep it that way please and thank you so the other cool thing is that I don't only use this monitor when I'm out I actually use it at my desk as well because when I get home it's just so simple to set this up all I have to do is plop it on my desk and plug in the USB type C that I have connected to my hub and boom, I just have another monitor. So this is a nice setup because it doesn't really take up any space in front of the display. And when I'm at the desk, I use it as a reference monitor as well. So I would have my scripts on the smaller display and have my Final Cut Pro on the bigger display so I can see a lot more without switching screens. And when I don't need to use the portable monitor, I can just use the joysticks in the back to quickly power it off. You can also set this up as a vertical monitor very easily. On the stand, there's actually a little rubber part that's meant to support the monitor in a vertical position. So if you're writing code or just need to see more content on the screen without scrolling, using an extra vertical monitor is going to be super useful. And the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is that it has a full-sized HDMI port on the right and a audio jack on the left. And this makes it super versatile for you to connect it to a wide range of devices. So if you want to plug in a console like the Nintendo Switch, you can do that. It gives you a bigger screen so you can have two players playing Smash Bros. Or if you have an iPad mini, you can also plug that in and it'll actually power everything up and you will have a bigger screen to watch Netflix or whatever that you want. So guys, I think the ASUS SenseScreen MB16 QHD is definitely the ultimate tool for creators and professionals. It just allows you the versatility to create whatever setup that you need to do what you need to do. So whether you're a graphic designer, business professional, content creator, or gamer looking for another monitor, I'm sure you're gonna find this super useful in your workflow. There's a link in the video description that will give you more details about this. You should definitely check it out and thank you again ASUS for sponsoring today's video. Normally I don't do dedicated videos like this but this is something that I really like and actually use a lot and if I like it I'm sure you will as well and guys thank you for watching to the end of the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already yet and that's it for now. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye!